Hey, my name is JB and I'm from Huffy, and today we're going to be helping you build your 16 inch Moto X that you purchased on Amazon. Thanks for that purchase, by the way. So let's get started by setting the bike up and assembling the training wheels. So on the rear of the bike, you have two 15 millimeter nuts, and you can remove those from each side of the bike. And you're going to make sure that the training wheel bracket brace is still in place. And then slide the training wheel onto the axle. And you can get it just hand tight for right now. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And now you're going to level them out just a little bit. Do this by adjusting the training wheels up and down. And you want them to match about the same distance on both sides. Then using the included tool, tighten them down. You're going to want this to create a little bit of wobble in the bike. If you put them too far down, the rear wheel is not going to touch the ground. And when you pedal, you're not going to go anywhere. So next, we're going to install the pedals on the bike. You should have a left and a right pedal. The right pedal is righty-tighty. The left pedal is lefty-tighty. The left pedal is signified by an L on the threads. The right pedal is signified by an R on the threads. There also should be an L and an R sticker on the pedals as well. The left pedal is always signified by additional marks on the surface of the metal. So you'll see three marks on each area where you would apply the wrench. So that makes sure that you know which one's left and which one's right. Now which one's left and which one's right on the bike differs a little bit. The driveline side of the bike, the side with the chain wheel and the chain, is always the right side of the bike, or the rider's right. So let's go ahead and put that on. I recommend doing this by hand at first, just to make sure that you get everything in there and you don't accidentally strip the threads by using a wrench right off the bat. And once you get it finger tight, tighten the pedal into place. Make sure it is tight. Make sure that it spins freely. You may feel a little resistance in there on the steel axle of the pedal. Going to do the left side now. Remember, it is lefty tighty when spinning the pedal on, not righty tighty. Do this by hand so that you don't mess up the threads and then tighten once you get it as hand tight as you can. So you want to make sure the pedals are tight. That way they don't fall off when you're riding. All right, now that we've put on the pedals, let's go ahead and put the seat on the bike. Release the quick release mechanism, and you're going to tighten this by hand, and then actuate the lever and then you're going to open it back up. I recommend just tightening a little bit more by hand, and that should be a good starting point for you. Go ahead and slide the seat in. You may have to loosen this just a little bit. And there are marks on the seat post that have a minimum mark. You'll see that by a bunch of little dashes across the seat post. You're going to want to make sure that the seat post is at least that far down. So we've done that. Make sure that the seat is straight. Go ahead and actuate the lever. This should be slightly difficult to close and not very easy. When, once you make sure that it's on there, the seat shouldn't move. And that makes sure that the rider is safe when they're on the bike. Now we're going to go ahead and do the handlebars and front brakes. So go ahead and rotate the fork of the bike 
so that the braking mechanism is in the front. And go ahead and get your handlebars out. And take off the protective sheath that's on the handlebar stem. And you may have to loosen the 15 millimeter bolt right here a little bit so that you can fit everything down into the down tube. There are also minimum marks on here, also signified by dashes that go across. So just make sure that it's down that far. You can adjust this up and down as the rider needs as long as the minimum mark is still inside the head tube. I'm going to tighten that up just to hold it in place while we adjust it. It's also a 15 millimeter and it's included in your tool. And then we're going to put the brakes on. So you'll notice that there are multiple openings and the two different pieces of hardware for the brakes. So you're going to line the openings up with this and this, and then insert the cable through this piece here as well. And then there is a boss on the bottom that the cable locks into. So you'll see the pill that's on the end of the cable would go in there. All right. So in order to put the cable into the hand lever, we're going to loosen up the brake cable on the braking mechanism. So start by removing this bolt here. And actually, you don't have to remove it all the way. You just need to get it loose enough so that it lets all the tension go. You're going to have a little bit of free play here so that the wire can move around. During this process, we also want to make sure that the cable stays inside of any of the bosses that it's connected to. Because if it gets stuck out here and you tighten everything up, then it'll eventually slip in here and then the brakes won't work correctly because they'll be too loose. So at this point, we'll move up to the lever, put the pill into the lever, and then you're going to pull through the slot in the lever through the slot in the keep bolt and into the other boss on the other end. Once you have it through, you can adjust these so that the wire can't escape out of the lever. Make sure that that wire housing goes into the boss up here and into the boss down here. We're going to come back down to the brakes and we're going to close the brakes onto the wheel. If you have small hands, you might want to have someone help you with this while you tighten the cables up. Um, my hands are about medium size for a guy, and I can usually do it pretty easily. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of tug on the wire just to get it down as far as possible, making sure once again to keep the cable housing in any of the bosses, and then we're going to tighten this up. This doesn't have to be super, super tight. If you get it too tight, you may damage the cable on the inside. After that, we're going to go ahead and actuate the lever to make sure that the brakes work. And it looks like we have brakes working on both sides. So to test that, you can just spin the wheel and give it a squeeze. So with the brake lever finally installed and you have the brake cable in place, make sure that this lever is adjusted properly typically between 30 and 45 degrees angle down is where you want it at so that the person using the brakes is able to grab it appropriately. In your toolkit, you were given an Allen wrench to use. You can tighten the top of this as needed if it's too loose. Don't over tighten. If you do, you possibly could break through the plastic on here. So use caution when doing that. You also want this to be able to move just a little bit. So in the event that someone does take a tumble on the bike, the brake lever doesn't break, it just moves out of the way. You don't want it too loose so that it moves really freely, but you do want it just a little bit so that it can move down and out of the way in the event that the handlebars come in contact with the ground. Last thing to check is tire pressure. 
Your bike has probably been on a long journey, so you want to make sure that the proper tire pressure is in the tires. Tire pressure is listed on the side of the tire. This, for example, goes to 35 PSI. All right, so you've finished assembling your Moto X 16-inch Huffy bicycle. At this point, if there's anything that you need to reassure yourself on, always check the manual. The manual has more information in it on every part of your bicycle, and it has a spare parts list if you need any. If you do need to contact us to get any of those spare parts, you can always check on the back of the manual next to the big red hand. It tells you right here, huffybikes.com slash contact. It also has our phone number, 1-800-872-2453. Once again, this is JB from Huffy. I hope you enjoy your new bicycle. Remember to always wear a helmet and always obey local laws. Now get out there and have some fun.